Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be a little bit more about the blend tool. I've done the blend tool before, but I was playing around with it yesterday and actually engraved this one right here, and I failed to go out to the shop and bring it in. I, I engraved it on some red alder so it wouldn't have to be sanded. It could just be wiped out, walked, wiped off. These areas right here are almost solid black because the lines are so close together, but it it's a really neat effect and you could play around with this and, and color fill you know different dots you know with different colors or you know with blacks and uh, different grays and uh, have some really neat effects anyway and then there's like this type and it almost gives it a 3D, 3D dimensional look uh, I made a flower type deal uh, that would, you know, and I, I don't know when you would use this, but if you uh, like to show off what your laser can do, uh, you know, besides the, this is the second best thing I've ever seen with the exception of the Aztec calendar, which is, has so much details. So I thought I'd go about, and then you could use them for frames, you know, uh, make some really nice looking frames and, you know, this would be your picture frame and your you can do this with power clip but to do this it's really easy and it's, it's really it's fun to play with it's almost addicting but just take your two point line and set it as thin as you can get without being a hairline so we're going to go there and we're going to go scale with object that's pretty important because you're going to tend to draw these too big so we're going to Hold down the control button and get a, a perfectly parallel line. We're going to go control D and make a duplicate. We're going to hold down the control button and just move it over. Then you need to encompass both these. Then go down here to the, uh, it's the drop shadow window and go to blend. And just grab on that line and go to that line. Now that's kind of normal, uh, blend tool but right up here your blend docker you can find under you know effects or somewhere but you don't really need it because everything's right here so let's let's increase it a couple of lines and see the more lines the higher you go the more lines you get and i don't really only ever done that before and you can actually move this and, and increase some uh, the spacing between them so let's just back up here but this is something i never played around with you can rotate it Let's rotate it 180 degrees and look at that. I mean, I can see the possibilities of using that. You could go 360 degrees. Let's see what happens. And you get it double. And then you could actually probably add more lines. And, uh, you know, that, that'd be something just to show off what your laser can do. So let's put this back at zero. And there's our lines. And you could... You know, move this over and have your graduation, and then then you can rotate it. And, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And then you could break it apart, and then you can actually delete that low end line that didn't start. You can delete that line and that line. You know, delete these lines that are kind of, kind of out there by themselves. I guess I need to ungroup it, delete that line, that line, that line, maybe that line and that line. And yeah, but I mean that's a really cool effect. Uh, you could create somebody's logo with it. You know, it kind of looks like it's a a tunnel. But the way I did this one, that one, and and this one, which is kind of a neat globe looking effect is is the same thing it's really easy let's just move this one out of the way and these are ones i've drawn this one i didn't uh probably scale the object so it got really black when i re reduced it but then you could take you know each one of those and and duplicate it and so this is four different rotations but to do the circle just take and hold down your control button so you get a square or a perfectly round circle. 
make a duplicate of it, control D, and then grab that duplicate, but hold in your shift key. Whoop. Grab your pick tool. Hold down your shift key. No, oh, that isn't working. It should have. It should hold. There we go. Hold down your shift key and it'll go equally and make it just as fine as you can get it without without uh, touching. Then go get your blend tool. And then on this, you have to kind of start from the middle and go outward. And then you can always, let's zoom in here. You can always add more lines. And you can move this inner circle by holding down your shift key. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. There we go. I mean, look at that. And we need to move it. I wasn't on the handle a while ago. I mean, look at that. And, I mean, it's going to make it look 3D because this black part. Then go Control D and make a duplicate of it. Make sure we got a duplicate. Well. Oh, I was Control D. And then rotate your duplicate. And you don't have to rotate it, you know, perfectly. Uh, you can play around with it. But that's a pretty cool effect, and you could, you know, reduce some lines. Uh, you could put somebody's name in here. Uh, it would really take a long time, but uh, you could color fill somebody's name in here. You know, a logo. You know, spell the word laser. Just kind of looks like it was pixelized. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.